Batumi is usually associated with three things – beach, bikinis and booze. But there is another side to Batumi that I wish more travelers took the time to experience. Batumi is the capital of Ajaria, an autonomous region of Georgia, with its own flag, its own dialect, which borrows some words from Turkish, as it's located 15 kilometers from Turkish border. The landmark of the place is the monument to St. Andrew, is known as the First Cold, as he was the first of the Twelve Apostles to be called by Jesus. The church tradition of Georgia regards St. Andrew as the first preacher of Christianity in Georgia and is the founder of Georgian Orthodox Church. Right next to the monument, a small stall with a wine tasting, where a vendor with typical Georgian hospitality offered to taste it for free. Gonyo's fortress is an impressive piece of Roman Byzantine military architecture, covers 47,000 square meters within a rectangle of high stone walls with 18 towers. Built by the Romans in the 1st century AD, it was occupied by the Byzantines in the 6th century and Ottomans in the 16th century. An interesting little museum sits in the middle of the site with a cross outside, marking what's believed to be the grave of the Apostle Matthias. This is unverifiable as the Georgian government currently prohibits digging near the supposed grave site. Archaeological excavations revealed remains of Roman barracks, glass items, coins, as well as remains of baths from the second half of the first century, with water reservoir, cave dwellings, and bath mosaic in a large area. At the time, the fortress name Absartus, as its name was connected to the myth of Medea and her brother Absartus. The name Togonia was changed later, in the 14th century, under Byzantine influence. The store was full of surprises but hidden beautiful historical, natural and cultural places. The driver took us to the abundant fruit gardens to get fresh persimmon, oranges and kiwi. We stopped at Eucalyptus Alley to get few branches for better health. It's believed that its natural antioxidant relieves cold symptoms, reduces pain and treats the dry skin. Beautiful viewpoint of confluence of two mountain rivers, Ajeriskali and Choroch, but still a picture of me with a driver doll. Normally, in spring-summer season, those rivers have different colors without mixing their waters into each other. The road to Mervete village leads through the suspension bridge with a width of 2 meters only. In the beginning, it was hard to believe that we can cross it by car. Mirviti waterfall is located in the valley of the foothills of Upper Ajaria, surrounded by dense lush rainforest. There is a small path of 300 meters via Boxwood Alley that it looks like it came from a fairy tale, enchanting and haunted at the same time. The waterfall itself is not tall, it's only 20 meters high, but it's a beautiful cascade waterfall and looks captivating.
Georgia is very rich in water resources and rivers, boasting some 26,000 rivers. One of the most distinguished of these is the Machakela River, a transboundary river between Georgia and Turkey. Machakela National Park is on the river gorge. The park is vast, is around 9,000 hectares. Therefore, it's impossible to see everything it has to offer in only a day. We will have a few glimpses around the area. Archstone bridges can be found all over Georgia, often nestled in leafy gorges or stretched over pretty alpine streams. Collectively, the country's hemispheric bridges are known as Tamar bridges, named for Queen Tamar the Great, who ruled Georgia in the 12th century. Timlara Arch Bridge is the largest in Machahela National Park, built in 12th-13th century, in Tamar's honor. The last stop for the day to visit a local family and have a dinner with freshly made traditional food of few courses for any tastes. Seafood, vegetarian and meat, accompanied with a homemade wine and Georgian vodka. The family provided a great folk performance and even master class for the guests teaching us the traditional national dances and the traditional dresses.
enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.